Hi, and welcome to the last week of our Open SAP course, Getting Started with Data Science. I'm glad that you've made it so far. This week, we'll talk about deployment and maintenance. So let's start with an overview of the CRISP deployment phase. Phase six of the CRISP process covers model deployment. The knowledge gained during the project will need to be organized and presented in a way that the customer can use it. However, depending on the requirements, the deployment phase can be as simple as generating a simple report or as complex as implementing a repeatable data science process across the enterprise. There are four tasks in the phase, plan deployment, plan monitoring and maintenance, produce the final report and review the project. A plan is required in order to deploy the data science results into the business. Also, a plan is required for monitoring and maintenance of the models. It's important that the data science results become part of the day-to-day -day business and environment. The process also needs to ensure that the business avoids any unnecessarily long periods of incorrect usage of the results. So a robust model monitoring process must be implemented and adhered to. The project leader and the team need to write up a final report. This may be only a summary of the project and uh, your experiences, or it may be a final and comprehensive presentation of the project results. A project review should also be undertaken to assess what went right and what went wrong, what was done well, and what needs to be improved. The plan deployment task takes the evaluation results and identifies a strategy to deploy the data science project results into the business. The output is a deployment plan that summarizes the deployment strategy, including any necessary steps and how to, to perform them. The next task is to plan the monitoring and maintenance of the model and results. Monitoring and maintenance are critical issues especially if the data project results become part of the day-to-day -day business and its environment. A careful preparation of a maintenance strategy helps to avoid unnecessarily long periods of incorrect usage of the models, maybe after a model's performance has degraded. A detailed plan is required in order to monitor the deployment of the models and the results. The output is a monitoring and maintenance plan that summarizes the monitoring and maintenance strategy, including any necessary steps and how to perform them. At the end of the project, the project leader and the team write up a final report. Depending on the deployment plan, this report may be only a summary of the project and its experiences if these have not already been documented as an ongoing activity or it may be a final and comprehensive presentation of the data science project results. The output will include a final report of the data science engagement, including all of the previous deliverables and summarizing and organizing the results. The output can also include a final presentation to the customer. Finally, you need to review the project. You need to assess what went right and what went wrong, what was done well and what needs to be improved. You should create an experience document that summarizes any important experiences during the project. For example, pitfalls, misleading approaches or hints for selecting the best suited data size techniques in similar situations should all be included in the report. Most models predictive performance will degrade over time because the data that is used to apply the model onto will change. The data distributions might change as customer characteristics change, competitors launch campaigns, and the general business environment changes. The models have to be updated when this happens. Remember that a monitoring phase can be added to the CRISP methodology that specifically focuses on this really important aspect of any data science project. 
This is a short summary. There are four tasks you should consider in the deployment phase. These are plan deployment, plan monitoring and maintenance, produce the final report and review the project. You may need to add an extra phase to the CRISP process so that the performance of the models can be monitored as they degrade. So that's it for unit one of week six. In the next unit, we're going to take a look at the deployment options.